Hey, in this video, I want to show you how to accept Dogecoin as payment for your products and services. As you've probably seen on Twitter, Dogecoin is kind of trending right now. And uh, the biggest thing is, is to accept Dogecoin as payment. We have to spend and accept for it to become and continue to be a thing. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to accept Dogecoin on your WordPress website. All right, so what you can see here is I have a website design and we have some variables here as far as pricing goes. And what I've done is configured this to be checked out. At the bottom here, we have cryptocurrency, Dogecoin. Of course, you can accept Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all the other, about 122 other cryptos as well. But I just want to show this Dogecoin is the payment method for that particular product and for this video. So what you want to do is uh, get my crypto checkout and um, I'll walk you through it in just a moment here. So the thing is, is you get five transactions each month for free. And if you surpass that, then it's going to be $59. So that's not a terrible amount to accept uh, various cryptos and the Dogecoin, of course. What you want to do is log into your website and you're going to go into your plugins and you're going to go ahead and add new and type in my crypto checkout. And once you get that showing up here, then you're going to go ahead and accept that. Um, you're going to download it and then you're going to activate it. And then once you get that activated, you're going to go down to your settings under my crypto checkout. And we'll just walk through a few of these different things that are uh, options that you have. All right. So, the first thing I want to do is the second tab is going to be auto settlements and uh, you're going to choose the types of cryptos that you want to do auto settlement for. So what you'll do is you'll just select Binance. We're going to use that as the uh, type and then you're going to save settings and that's going to open up this um, tab with all these different cryptos that you can um, settle. And what that means is when you get money from, let's say, Dogecoin, you're going to convert it over to, um, I think it's U.S. dollars, but uh, it's going to settle the payments uh, after the payment. Um, if you don't use select these, uh, like deselect, then what will happen is it'll just remain as the payment. Uh, so if you collect Doge, you will also save it as Doge, which I prefer. So in this tab, we're going to look at this. Um, you're going to need to set up your API key, your, your secret, and I'll walk you through that in a moment as well. And then you can also check the box for which is the auto sell, auto settle. So let's go over to API on Binance. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to Binance.us. You want to sign up for a new account. Uh, they're going to go through all the questions and you have to prove who you are if you don't already have an account. You can also do this with probably Binance.com, but since I'm in the U.S., uh, Binance.us is the one to, to check out and sign up for. So uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go to um, your account and you're going to go to API management and it's going to give you the option to add a new API. And when you do this, you're going to get, um, they're going to ask for uh, proof that you uh, have access to this account. So you're going to have to go through SMS uh, a couple times to update it. It's kind of a pain, but uh, it's better safe than sorry to have good security. And what you're going to do is you're going to get your API key, you're going to get your secret key. And then I would also suggest you can have a default of unrestricted, which is, um, they don't recommend this, or you can actually use your IP address from your hosting account and um, enter that in there. So that will help get you uh, connected all the way through here. So just copy and paste that stuff over to your WordPress plugin and you'll be good to go. Um, so the next thing you want to do is you want to go over to your currencies tab in my crypto checkout and you're going to go ahead and add the different coins that you want. In this one, we're going to talk about Dogecoin, so you can accept that. And uh, what will happen is you just pick that, and then you're going to add your address here. 
and that address I'll show you in the next one on how to get that. But basically you add your address, wallet address, and you save settings, and then it'll start showing up here. So let's go back to Binance. And uh, when you're logged in, just go to Trade Markets, and then you pick out the various um, cryptocurrencies you want to collect uh, and uh, charge for your products and services. So I clicked on Doge, and that will take us to over to the Doge um, page. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on Deposit, and the deposit will be uh, your wallet. And you can just copy this and then go back over here and just paste it there. So I've already done that and that's exactly what that is all about. So that is, and of course you just save it. So that is that. You can also do donations with uh, my crypto checkout. And uh, what you can do is select this, uh, pick your currency, and then just select anything you want here. And then you can generate a short code and the short code will be, uh, for mine, it's this. And you can actually put that into your blog post or your pages, or if your um, theme, it, it allows for it potentially into your um, widgets as well. So that will show a, a QR code uh, that people can scan in and potentially your wallet address so that uh, you can get donations. And then uh, the next thing you want to do is, uh, if you want to do any markups, you can do this as well in the global settings. Um, the tools um, doesn't really have much there. Uh, but what you'll do is you go over to WooCommerce and then Settings. And then what you want to do is you're going to have My Crypto Checkout, and then you're going to manage that. And in the Manage area, uh, it will give you the ability to turn it on. and uh, the instructions if you want to customize this a little bit and then uh, if you want to hide it or not hide it and then the type of information you want on this and then you can save changes and that again will turn into this right here so so that's about it it's fairly simple um, I, I want to say one thing though that the products that you sell need to be a uh, they cannot be subscriptions so they have to be a one-time uh, payment and um, they, they again they can't be a subscription so if you try that it's not going to show up in the checkout it'll just be uh, just PayPal credit card stripe or whatever else you have set up authorized on that and um, not the cryptocurrency because they won't allow for that so that's kind of unfortunate but um, technology hasn't arrived yet for subscriptions and crypto payments but at least you can accept doge and bitcoin ethereum and all the other um, uh, popular cryptocurrencies so hope this was helpful and like and subscribe if you like it if you want to see more